this weekend uh, coming off a kind of a mini break um, into a, a really big opportunity against a team that just looked great last weekend. And uh, we got to get our game going. And I know that they feel the same. A couple two and threes going, going at it on the East Coast on Sunday night. So it's, uh, it's going to call for a championship matchup and a championship performance from us. We have, we have a lot to get done this week. Um, and it's going to be a challenge, obviously. And so uh, there's a lot of respect for this club and the players and the coach and, and all that. And, and uh, it's, a, it's a matchup right now. We've got to have we got to have another tough one. And uh, these guys are going to bring it to us. What happened with Trey Flowers? Ultimately, why did that not work out? For the it, it was I think it was time for a change for him as well. You know, he, he had a couple of guys that were getting some play time ahead of him. And uh, I love that kid. You know, I'm a love kid. And, and I've been working with him as close as anybody I've worked with since I've been here. And, uh, and I, I, I feel better for him to get out of here and get going again. There's a lot of teams that need corners, and, and I, I hope he gets a great shot. Pete, you're, you were so high on him coming out of Texas and what he showed during the summer. What, what do you think happened to him? I was high on him because he, he had really exceeded a little bit of the expectations. Of, he came back better and really effective and uh, aggressive and all of that. And uh, it, it just, in my opinion, and, uh, it just didn't stay, you know, as much as we had hoped. And so we gave him a great shot at it, and, and uh, he did everything he could with it. Did you find 